Okay, um, so let's play have a nice death So um, this build is primarily um, For a spell build no, I'm sorry. This is a cloak build and as you see this is the start a, a new mechanic that the team has introduced uh, and it's it's fairly good but uh, the um, uh, i think the they're going forward for a good risk versus a uh, reward kind of scenario but it kind of works out as they have like a free set of contracts as well as you see that i've done now uh, i'm taking a separate approach out here by editing and doing a proper voiceover so just let me know how what you guys think uh, it's something that uh, new to me as well and um, yeah as you see it's a short biome go for equipment try to find something good we do have the rocket launcher that we got from the contract uh, Sorry if that was a bad card, but yeah, I'm um, just trying to figure out what I, I figure out figure it out how to do the end. Now I'm not sure what uh, these biomes are called. Maybe it's a challenge biome, but what I try to do is try to uh, get all of them together. But I missed out on the rocket launcher, and uh, yeah, and as you can see, that that contract I always take because both are positives. You win. 100 salary as well as like 20 plus max health uh, just a normal clearing of enemies out here we do get the boomerang hex i did uh, i did a a short run for the boomerang hex uh, i'll add a link uh, up top to the right um so next yeah we go just try to get a few more prismiums. Prismiums are much better and uh, sort of hard to come by. As you see, uh, this biome is easy. Just use the fury, uh, kill a few enemies, and done. So, yeah, uh, increase max health as well, plus 10. I'm okay with the amount that you get, uh, and they kind of introduced a new format in which once you clear the, uh, uh, the main. Uh, boss move, that is the sorrows you do get plus 20 max health so uh, similar to the last uh, challenge biome uh, use the fury and done and this is where we pick up the main uh, cloak build and we're gonna use the dagost from dagost dagost from now on and uh, it's fairly quick uh, you get uh, a cyclic uh, operation once you click it um, and you get uh, two tries for the end. So I went for Thanager Hung because uh, I haven't seen him in quite a while. Similar to the other Thanagers in the round as well. And as you see, uh, right off the bat, we're gonna use. Uh, oh, sorry, we didn't use the Fury out here. We tried to build up the Fury, but uh, the Ravost has doing uh, a fair bit of. Uh, damage as well uh, plus the rocket launches that help at least for uh, starting sort of biomes and the fury uh, kind of does a lot of damage as well uh, it increases significantly as you go ahead in the, uh, in the forward uh, of the run but yeah as you see kind of hitless uh, boss out here and uh, yeah uh, the animation is a bit slow but we get Osha out here and uh, yeah we go with the cloak build for critical because um, uh, I kind of figured I haven't done a run with the Dagost before so mm, why not and uh, go ahead yeah uh, select the shop I think we go for max health out here i don't remember but yeah as you see uh previous uh, other than my previous videos i try to cut out and edit out all the loading screens because apparently they have a lot of uh, loading screens out here and it amounts to basically 10 to 15 minutes of an entire run 
so we will uh, we meet the first uh thanager out here uh brad <laughs> i'm not sure who came up with that name but uh seems fitting um yeah uh, this takes quite a bit of time just because the amount of uh, users we get in uh in the start for the davos is two and it takes quite some time to load but that's where the control room kind of comes in so currently as you see it's going on it's one of his main attacks the the boulder rain sort of thing and uh, yeah i think it's fairly simple i don't know if i do get uh, a proper hitless run out here but as you can see that uh, the davos fury does a lot of poison damage uh, but i'm i'm sure that um, to the yeah i think this goes for like a hitless yeah definitely a hitless um yeah so the first uh, first two uh, main bosses and many bosses um easy as pie so yeah i love the animation though the animation is kind of good um oh sha i think we yeah as you see plus 20 health and uh yeah plus plus 1 damage i i'm not sure how that um cause actually scales you get a uh, what plus 1 damage for every 7% of health that you do have and uh, yeah i don't see it uh, how it works maybe they can come up with oh yeah the dude stuck in the pile yeah um as you see i try to use the dagger on simple enemies and it kind of obliterates them uh, i try to cut out all the exploring and um, the shorter biomes just try to get the challenge biomes and so on right now the cuts are a little bit abrupt but i promise you later on in the run it does get better um trying to figure it out because it's my first time editing uh, the entire video in such a a uh, format where i try to take out all the unnecessary bits and try to keep the video as short as possible um as you see biome is easy we don't have any uh floaters or splitters that kind of throw bombs at you and uh, injure you uh midway so i think we get a shout here it, uh, i think i've memorized all the pattern formats uh for each biome or every layout so that i know what to expect as well so uh basically take something that is going to be helpful i think this turns out to be a good retaliate build where uh i do get hit a lot and i get plus oh, and a plus me that's good uh plus um plus defense uh plus offense plus life uh life steal as well and the life steal once uh, uh the life steal for retaliate works brilliantly like you can gain all your health back like at least the unstable health you can gain all that health back in one hit so it's pretty powerful and here as you see in the control room we try to get the dagos up to level 3 like the entirety and we go ahead and increase the um upgrade on the scythe as well uh i'm pretty comfortable with this scythe it's pretty fun um it has long range plus if you get all the right um curses you can increase the uh, amount of damage it does to a very very high level so a uh, simple simple uh challenge biome the uh, kind of stagger them and the two hits are more than enough uh rainbow bell always good yeah as you see this is another mechanic where once you use your anima in front of these uh, locks 
you do get like a hidden uh, item. Uh, it ranges from solary to prismium to uh, cost rerolls or what do you say? Uh, cancel the curses or the penalties, anti penalty uh, stuff. And here I thought that hey, I haven't seen Slima in quite some time, so let's go uh, see Slima and. Uh, this works out really fine i think we get a no hit here as well uh, the fury is uh, really good of uh, uh, of the davos is really good um as you see um this is a really well done hitless run uh, and that's a strategy i use for basically every boss or mini boss where uh, you use the fury at first and then you go ahead and hit him with the uh, the cloak or the spell build so yeah uh, just try to boost up that uh, cloak build where you get uh, more criticals and uh, more damage on sorry the mo more base damage on your um, weapons so yeah and that's that's like the basic strategy and here's grimes so i don't do particularly well with grimes although there's a quite a few strategies you can do just to kind of evade the punch as you see i do it a couple of times here as well and uh, this is a very simple uh yeah as you see you dash directly once uh, once he actually starts the animation you kind of just dash into him so that it looks close and the the, uh, the good thing is that the hand does not and I make entirely with the theory. the hand does not uh, retract and it doesn't hit you on the way back so um, that's one way that you can uh, get in damage for a long uh, period of time rather than running back and yeah uh, easy run I think one hit Oh sorry, a couple of hits and uh, we're good. And, uh, yeah, I I wish there is another um, curse where you increase the damage of the cloak by plus ten percent, ten percent, but your uh, scythe does uh, minus twenty five percent damage. So it's uh, if you want a cloak bill, you go ahead and uh, use that for like uh, the hammers or any sort of cloak that does uh, a great amount of damage like feral fits or um, the brutum hammer or the plain hammer uh slay go slay more all that so uh as you see just showing off with what the Davos can actually do. We do get another challenge room. These guys are particularly um, temperamental and uh, it's kind of hard to not to try and not get hit by them. Uh, there's another curse for these uh, enemies where once you go close, just close, you don't even kill them, they try to uh, explode. So be careful. Um, I think we go for another control room. Yep. Um, try to increase the damage of the scythe as well. And uh, yeah, try to increase the damage of the scythe. I do 50 plus 100 uh, plus uh, the prismium. And then I put everything into, uh, sorry, all the solary into the upgrade. Okay. Uh, previously the upgrade used to just eat up the money if you do it halfway through but now they've applied a patch where you can invest now come back to it later and the salary will still be invested in it. some sort of advance so you can say so going back directly to king dengu um it's a pretty close call out here as well but i do end up uh, doing a good amount of damage as well two two really close uh, misses out here one and the second one i'm not sure how i survived that but uh, yeah again uh, a hitless um boss and it turned out to be really good we got like a good um golden animal which gives you a proper heal 
so uh, yeah as you can see there's another percentage one so I try to go for a proper retaliate build out here I tend to get a hit a lot and uh, it turned out to be really good so hazardous floor uh, I usually do that hazardous floor because in the past runs I always do get um, Osha as like the uh, the end or biome reward or the level reward and as you can see here I did get him and then uh, I think Osha pretty much uh, him her uh, I don't want to get all uh, confused but yeah one of my least favorite uh, uh, enemies the neurosurgeons good lord I hate them um, yeah they disappear and appear and they can appear even on uh, in the in mid air so we need to be like quite careful about how we actually um, approach the entire situation and some uh, rooms are really bad where you get like three to four neurosurgeons and uh, it's it's <laughs> it's really bad so uh, this is always been um, confusing battle to me because uh, Crank's attacks are not well telegraphed and you or the only thing that you can actually figure out is uh, the one where he dashes forward this one the other one yeah like this then the second one this the third one is where he snaps his little uh, crab arms uh, in front of you and you kind of don't uh, figure out what he's doing and he moves back yeah like that one so it's either he moves and good fight one hit and good enough yeah he moves and he hits with um, both together so it's it, it's a bit confusing so yeah uh, this was uh, a good fight we do get osha later on and it's really fun so then moving on to the second last biome sorry that was my knuckle cracking <laughs> Uh, yeah, and once you use any any food that's in the refrigerator, uh, nothing else actually shows up. Uh, I'm still in two minds about how that mechanic works. Maybe you can have uh, a couple of things. And here is where I kind of figure out that uh, I can edit the video in the way the in the way death actually dashes. So I did three frames of um the dash mechanic so that i can kind of merge the footage so do let me know what you guys think and yeah and again my decision so yeah it was fun and uh, yeah i think that was just one challenge room in the first uh, level we go ahead i want to get more of the course we rolls which is much much better in in the in the long run so yeah it's always good and soon as the level starts we do get like a challenge run uh this was pretty good and these uh these guys are easier if you do have a, a high damage weapon if not these guys are actually can be a little bit hard to go um take care of Osha again. I don't know why the curse reroll doesn't actually show up. I do end up taking plus 10 damage in general and this works uh, for each and everything. Spells, cloaks as well as um oh I got the curse reroll after. Okay cool. Uh yeah it works for everything. As you can see uh, as you can see the cut there uh, it was a dash cut and I love that. I kind of figured out uh, in the first video itself. So as you can see a little bit here and there we get the same sort of uh, room that was there previously um, use my fury here get that done second wave and this should be easier yep and we're done.
I'm surprised that uh, the the pills, the flying pills actually didn't show up in the second wave. Again, uh, I'm actually really proud of that cut. Uh, cool. So that's how it kind of goes forward. And uh, we are at the end of the room. Let's see what we select next. Candace. Uh, I was contemplating a bit for Candace, but again, I thought I haven't seen Candace in quite a while. So let's go. And it was kind of fun with her jumping around everywhere and just trying to figure out and as you can see another dash cut so I actually did have fun editing this so I think I might keep it uh, depends on whether it causes whiplash in people who watch the videos so uh, this should be fun this should be really fun and as you can see she jumps around a lot and I'm assuming it's a she with the name Candace so don't, don't hold that against me uh, yeah she jumps around a lot and it's kind of hard to figure out it reminds me of the uh, soul uh, master and the soul tyrant uh, fight in Hollow Knight where he keeps jumping around and it's kind of hard to hit um, so yeah and that's it uh, the Davos gets killed I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the words properly but yeah and uh, we get another Osha I think I go for the cloak plus 10 damage I don't even remember oh 100% poison yeah I had like three good um, options the plus 10 for the hammer I should have actually gone for the plus 10 and another cut yeah I should have gone for the plus 10 I tried to cut out all the things that's not necessary and I thought that like it's just exploring so I didn't come against anything nice or, or fun so I thought like hey let's cut it out um cool so I prefer not to do I go ahead and yeah update this yeah that's what I thought I did uh go ahead and update this plus 60 is really good damage so yeah um in the end we do go for which is the longest fight in this video um this guy it's it's really hard to tell uh what attack he's doing i'm not sure why he uh, comes down though like this and the fury as you see it missed out on quite a few things but yeah i do get damaged a lot i sorry i do get hit a lot uh in this fight i'm not sure why but it 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 works out in in some format um yeah he has quite a few um variations of his uh attacks and uh, this guy is one of the most in this entire yeah as you can see i do get hit a lot but as you see the retaliate gets me almost everything that i lost so that's a really good thing a uh, fury again i wish I wish it hit more but we can't complain and it kind of works out so he has two major of uh, major attacks like this where one um, I, I don't think I should say it <laughs> uh, YouTube can kind of uh, give me a violation so uh, yeah uh, it's pretty good and yeah i hate this sort of attack i'm not sure and i get hit here yep yep three times i'm guessing uh so yeah uh, i don't lose a lot of health and uh, i think the fury does it so yeah i don't lose a lot of health with uh with the retaliate uh, option and uh, yeah this was uh, a fight that took too long but happy with the result can't complain and uh, yeah this is a good um, feature that they've brought on where i take plus five defense by the way um yeah where they give a uh, plus 10 or plus 20 health i think it's plus 20 health once you kill uh, all the bosses and uh, it uh, it's better than what it was before as well so yeah good thing uh, i don't even check the dialogues i just run away fast and we come to our uh last biome 
uh, I'd skip out a lot because this biome is really huge and uh, yeah we just go to all the uh, challenge uh, rooms as such yeah the these the rooms that i got in this run are mostly with these uh, enemies that drop bombs and uh, yeah it takes a lot of time because it takes uh, it's basically a time bomb and uh, yeah it was a fun build um yeah i get his twice or three times i'm not even sure and uh, yeah this this was uh, this was this was like a very long challenge room just because i waited it took some time and then kill all the yeah, enemies so i think we get osha i think osha comes here uh, irrespective critical uh, and i think it's like mandatory that you do get them uh critical on stunned enemies is really really op especially with all the furies so yeah that's really good uh prismian women solary i think i just go for the solary just for the points at the end of the level and uh, it turns out to be uh solary itself i'm not sure if i do get prismium so yeah and yeah another card where hopefully the audio is not that jarring and kind of helpful too i kind of kept this because i think i get like the uh, the pill where you increase the amount of unstable um i think that's in the for biome and these guys were when they were introduced i really didn't like the airplane one they have uh, they take time to reach as well as um don't get hit uh, or their health doesn't actually decrease really uh, quick you need to like stun them get up there uh, get them to a level that's really low and then go ahead so end of the bar, uh, end of the level and we go for flage or flage see flage and um, yeah uh, this boss fight was also something that i was expecting to be going good and not get hit but i do end up getting hit a couple of times uh no and uh, hopefully the audio uh, i'm actually not um going ahead i think we do get the flage right now flag i'm not sure if it's french flage or flag or something like that uh you can drop comments if you think uh, uh i'm saying it wrong but yeah i get a hit a couple of times uh, i do end up uh yeah uh what do you say staggering her like getting in critical i'm not sure if the animation or the operation is broken because uh she takes a long time to kind of recover uh also do let me know if it's some sort of urban legend that i can actually research upon so yeah drop your comments below uh yeah life steal is always a good choice if you do get hit a lot which i apparently do and i think this is the last biome uh challenge sorry i keep saying biome in the wrong uh manner uh level i should stick with level for main things and biomes for the main category uh so yeah i think this is the last challenge room or challenge level that i encounter i don't think i encounter anything uh post this uh so as you can see i'm just trying to run around trying to get in damage for basically everyone um final main enemy uh the crows are remaining i think there's one more after this no okay cool and uh yeah so that was it yeah and done so i choose a final room i was contemplating whether i should go hazardous or uh wider mana uh but i thought hey why not just get a better Oh, I think uh yeah I thought just get like more health or maybe uh, something related to So yeah as you can see I try to do all that 
and this is where we do get a appeal for the increase in health so the increase in unstable health at least so and since we got um life steal we can get um mostly all our health back i'm not sure if i do get hit here but um yeah same as the biomes before uh, i'm not sure why but they actually do get um i'm um, sorry uh yeah i think there was like a some sort of lag or something like yeah i'm not sure why these biomes do get repeated i'm not sure what the issue is but uh yeah uh we get the same sort of bands and like two uh straight uh rooms so yeah and uh, we get the health and we're done with this and finally we got major plish khan so yeah um i think you guys can enjoy this as well uh this fight took a long time as well he kept repeating the same uh attacks and i will let you guys enjoy this final boss and i will give you my thoughts about the weapon post this So that was it. That was Major Plish Khan. So as you saw, he kept repeating the the dragon rocket uh, attack. And for the life of me, I do not know how to actually evade it. I think I'm supposed to get hit there by any means necessary, and I do get hit a lot because of that and uh, that was it that was the dagost showcase uh, all in all a really 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 fast weapon uh, you can get in a lot of uh, dot builds done by this if you can infuse um, blood uh, sorry bleed you can infuse fire you can infuse poison you can infuse lifesteal as well and uh, if if you just want to upset the entire balance you can infuse um mana as well so uh, all in all a good weapon the fury is actually great and uh, yeah uh, let me know your thoughts in the bottom uh, i definitely rate it around 8 to 9 on a scale of 10 uh, a few pointers would be that to increase the number of times you can actually use it and cooldown actually can be controlled so good enough thanks guys bye